Hi everyone! In this video, we will be demonstrating how to properly charge a hemocytometer. First, gather the materials you will need. An improved new Bauer hemocytometer, a petri dish or any container that is kept moist by a damp cotton ball, some clean tissue paper or gauze, and a cover slip which is specifically designed for use with the hemocytometer. Let's first assemble the hemocytometer. Place it on a flat surface. Then take your cover slip and gently place it on top of the hemocytometer. As you can see, the hemocytometer has two counting chambers, one on the top and one on the bottom. Make sure that your cover slip is covering both sides equally. Once you have ensured that your cover slip is properly positioned, place the hemocytometer again on a flat surface. Now take your Thoma pipette, which should have been shaking for at least 3 to 5 minutes, and invert it a few times to mix. Plot the initial contents of the pipette on a tissue paper to remove excess diluent. Charge the hemocytometer by holding the pipette at a 45 degree angle and touch the tip of the pipette to the cover slip edge where it meets the chamber floor. The chamber should be filled with a steady flow of fluid. Completely fill the counting area without overflowing or undercharging. Charge the other counting chamber. Let's take a closer look. Here you can see that the top chamber is an example of a properly charged chamber and the lower one is overcharged. Try to avoid the latter. Let's now view our counting chamber under the microscope. Prior to use, the chamber should have been placed in a damp container to avoid drying out. First, view the chamber under the microscope using the scanning objective. Then, the low power objective, which is used to count white blood cells. And finally, the high power objective, which is used to count red blood cells. Let's take a look under the microscope. Using the scanning objective, you can see the entire counting chamber. Now switching to the low power objective, you can see the large central square and each of the four corner large squares. Now switching to the high power objective, you can see each of the 25 intermediate squares of the central large square. Thanks for watching! See you next time!